the next chapter is logarithms this is a new topic for you guys so please pay attention okay so you've just done indices right so in indices suppose you've got uh, let's say 2 raised to 4 is equal to 16 right what does this mean this means 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 2 multiplied with itself 4 times will give you 16 straightforward but there is one more form which is uh, used in mathematics to make the long and complicated calculations easy and that form is logarithms what is logarithm see suppose we have 2 raised to 4 is equal to 16 as i showed you over here we can convert this in the logarithmic form and we can write it as log of 16 to the base 2 is equal to 4 and it's read as log of or logarithm of 16 to the base 2 is 4 right so what has happened here if you notice the 4 which was in power now goes towards the right hand side right the base which was 2 still remains the base right and the answer which you see over here is the number of which the log has to be taken right so simple ways we can uh, state logarithm as if suppose you have a raised to b is equal to c it becomes log of c to the base a is equal to b so this is how logarithmic form and indices form can be interchanged into one another you must remember this thing that how indices form can be changed into logarithmic form and how logarithmic form can be changed back into indices form so the first part of our chapter will be based on this interchanging okay few more examples i'll give you suppose we have 2 raised to minus 3 2 raised to minus 3 is equal to 0 0.125 suppose we have 2 raised to minus 3 as 0 0.125 how to convert this into logarithmic form so you will write as log of 0 0.125 to the base 2 is equal to minus 3 right log of 0 0.125 to the base 2 is equal to minus 3 this is known as indices or exponential form this is the exponential form and what is this this is the logarithmic logarithmic form so we have to learn a new language it's just like that we know this language this is the language of exponents and we have to learn this new language the language of logarithm when we become expert in both the languages what we'll be able to do will be able to translate one language into the another or another language into the first one right uh, let's let's take one more example suppose if i say x raised to 0 is equal to 1 can we convert this into logarithmic form yes log of 1 to the base x is equal to 0 
okay so we can actually generalize this we can actually generalize this this way log of 1 to any base to any base is always 0 log of 1 to any base is always 0 next x raised to 1 is equal to 1 can we convert this into logarithmic form yes I'm sorry just one small mistake I've made I should have written x raised to 1 is equal to x not x raised to 1 is equal to 1 right so log of x to the base x is always 1 can we generalize this yes log of any number to the same base to the same base or base equal to the same number is always 1 so these are the laws of indices or exponents we have converted them into the laws of logarithm very simple right so can you tell me what is log of 1 to the base 5 log of 1 to the base 5 is 0 yes can you tell me what is log of 3 to the base 3 yes it is 1 right so we have applied these two laws now I think you know what is logarithm and how the indices or exponential form can be uh, con converted into logarithmic form and how a logarithmic form can be converted into exponential form and what are the general laws of logarithm. I think we are ready to start with the first question. Okay, the first question is in front of you. Uh, we have a need of okay i think that's visible now find the logarithm of 1000 to the base 10 the answer is also given for our verification but we'll find it so you have to find the logarithm of 1000 to the base 10 okay we have to find this value so we don't know the value so we'll take it as x now what we'll do is we'll solve it how we'll solve it by converting this logarithmic form into exponential form so the what is the base here first question you should ask yourself what is the base here the base is 10 10 raised to what is the answer here x x see the answer becomes the power as you convert from logarithmic form into indices form exponential form the answer that is the answer of logarithmic form becomes the power so this will become the power in the indices or exponential form so 10 raised to x is equal to the number whose logarithm is to be found out becomes the answer in exponential form 10 raised to x is equal to 1000 so 10 raised to x is equal to 10 raised to 3 and if you compare this you will get x is equal to 3 very easy don't you think so right so i converted logarithmic form into exponential form and solved it very easy next question is find the logarithm of 1 by 9 here the number is not visible i will just write it here 1 by 9 find the logarithm log of 1 by 9 to the base 3 to the base 3 so I don't know it I'll take it as x convert it into exponential form now the base remains as it is that is 3 the answer becomes the power raised to x and the number whose log has to be found out becomes the answer so 1 by 9 how can I write it how can I simplify this see
So this can be written as 3 raised to x is equal to 1 upon 3 square. 9 is 3 square. Which can be written as 3 raised to x is equal to 3 raised to minus 2. Which can be written as x is equal to minus 2. x is equal to minus 2. Okay. So this is the value of x. So we are at the second question. Uh, find x, right? It's a very simple question. Let's do it. So they are asking you to find x number one log of x to the base two is equal to minus two. The easiest way to find the value of x is convert this logarithmic form into exponential form. So the base remains same, 2. The answer becomes the power, minus 2. And the number whose log is to be found out, x, that becomes the answer. So x can be written as 1 upon 2 square, that is 1 by 4. Right? Let's do the next one. Question number 2 log of x plus 3 to the base 4 log of x plus 3 to, to the base 4 is equal to 2 okay here if you see the number whose log has to be found out it is x plus 3 the base is 4 let's write the base first the answer is 2 becomes the power is equal to x plus 3. So 4 square is 16 is equal to x plus 3. So 16 minus 3 is equal to x and therefore x is equal to 13. Very easy. The third one log of 64 to the base x is equal to 3 by 2 base becomes the base answer becomes the power 3 by 2 becomes the power is equal to 64 this x raised to 3 by 2 right can i shift this power to the to the other side so whenever you shift the power to the other side it becomes reciprocal so 64 raised to 2 by 3 right so x is equal to 64 is 4 cube raised to 2 by 3 that is 4 raised to 3 into 2 by 3 3 3 gets cut so x is equal to 4 square that is 16 so that is the last question okay so this is how you solve the basic logarithms i want you to solve the first exercise 8a finish it and then only we can we can move to the second part if you understand the basics well then you can solve the uh, remaining part uh, with ease right so see you in the next video